Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. In this video lecture, I will explain you the comparison of the results which is related to the column reinforcement details for the G plus 2 building which is executed on the StatPro software as well as the annual existing building reinforcement details. Okay. So initially I will show you the model which is related to the G plus 2 structural model. Then after that I will show you the re results which is included on that uh, StatPro software results and then after that I will show you the manual existing building reinforcement details for the same building and I will explain you the complete reinforcement details. Okay. So firstly click on the start pro v8i software here so this is my building model so i was already explained the complete reinforcement details for the plinth beam sections in my yesterday video so if you want that video i will provide you in above cot link you can watch from there okay so initially we need to see the dimensions for the respected column okay so for that go to click on the uh, modeling option click on the general option so in this it will be consisting of the column dimensions so here I am selecting my first section which is related to the R1 which is comes under the dimensions is 0 0.6 cross 0 0.230 uh, again in the same process just I am selecting the rectangular section which is related to 0 0.6 cross 0 0.23 so this variation of the dimensions of the columns will be exist uh, for the column section due to the presence of the higher amount of the loading distribution as well as the lower amount of the loading distribution for the building structure under consideration okay so again in the same process I will show you the next column reinforcement details so these are the column reinforcement reinforcement details and as well as your beam reinforcement details for the section again in the same process it will be consisting of the reinforcement of the column here like this again in the same process it will be consisting of the variations of the column reinforcement details here like this okay after applying the uh, dimensions of the beams and column sections we need to apply the load cases so initially i will show you the loads which is applied on the building structure go to click on the loads and definition click on the definitions option so for this structure i was taking the load cases which is comes under the dead loading condition as well as live loading condition so in the dead loading condition i was taking the load which is related to self weight and uniform weight and y range which is related to the slab load and again i was taking the y range which is related to the slab okay now i will show you the specifications which is involved in the design section so go to click on the design select the concrete frame design so for this respected building section i was considered the m25 grade concrete and fe415 grade steel maximum steel is 16 mm diameter and minimum steel is 12 mm diameter for the beam section and column section okay so after applying all the properties and all the load cases and the, all the specifications which is related to the design section we need to analyze the structure so after getting the zero results we need to click on the post to processing mode click on done option okay so after that we have to deselect the deflection diagram here okay so firstly i will show you the reinforcement details for this respected r1 r1 section so for that select any one of the beam here a uh, column here okay so here i am selecting this column double click on it click on the concrete design so for this respected concrete section design it is uh, comes under the m25 grade concrete and fe415 grade steel it is required approximately eight number of the bars which is consisting of the 12 mm diameter okay so this is the uh, stat pro output file that we are obtained for the g plus 2 building structural model okay Again in the same process I will show you the output which is there in the manual existing building structure. So for that we need to click on this PDF option. So this is my PDF which include the all the reinforcement details which is comes under the G plus 2 building structural model. Okay. So this is the reinforcement details which is related to the C1 section. So as per the manual execution process as per the considerations of the design section it is required 8 number of the 60 mm diameter bar again 4 number of the 20 mm diameter bar for the respected section of the column. Okay. Which is related to the ground floor section and which is related to the silt level section. Okay. So for this section again it will be consisting of 8 mm diameter ring bar which uh, which is consisting of 7 inches center to center distance for the each bar section okay so now i will show you the again one more reinforcement details on the right hand side section so for this respected building i was considered the c1 section on the left hand side section of the building and c2 section and the right hand side section of the building so click on this column reinforcement section double click on it click on the concrete design again for this respected section also it is required 12 uh, number of the uh, sorry 8 number of the bars which is consisting of 12 mm diameter with a 0 0.65 AST percentage 426 AST requirement for the respected column section okay again go to your PDF option so for this respected column section again it is required 8 number of the 60 mm diameter bar and 4 number of the 20 mm diameter bar okay so from the ground floor section reinforcement details it was easily concluded that 
the reinforcement value is higher value in manual calculations when you compare with stat pro results okay but in yesterday class we are obtained that the manual calculation results has low amount of the reinforcement value when you compare with the stat pro results okay so this is the alternative for the uh, beam reinforcement section in stat pro software when you design the building structural model if the dimensions is exceeds the required amount of the dimensions then it will ask you to insert another bar in stat pro software but in manual calculation it is not possible to change the reinforcement diameter dimensions bars okay so again i will show you the reinforcement details for the first floor so firstly i will select the left hand side column section just double click on it click on the concrete design section so for this respective section also again it is obtained as the same amount of the reinforcement values so again i am selecting the pdf here so for this respective section for the first floor it is consisting of the c1 dimensions is 9 inches cross 24 inches and c2 dimensions is 9 inches cross 21 inches for the 9 inches cross 24 inches it is required 12 number of the 16 mm diameter bar for the respected section again it is required 8 mm diameter 7 inches center to center distance rings okay so again i will show you the reinforcement details on the right hand side section just just i am selecting the right hand side section reinforcement details click on the concrete design so for this respected section also it is consisting of 8 number of the 12 mm diameter bar with 0 0.71 uh, ast percentage and ast requirement is 358 mm square okay so again in the same process we have to see the reinforcement details for the respective remaining last floor so here i am selecting this respected column double click on it click on the concrete design so now we can see for this respected column it is required uh, 16 mm diameter bar which is consisting of the 12 numbers okay so as per the output we will see the reinforcement values for the respected section so as per the output file which is obtained from the manual calculations it is obtained as 12 number of the 16 mm diameter when you compare to this respective results it is obtaining as same amount of the reinforcement whatever the reinforcement that we are providing here as same amount of the reinforcement that we are obtained for this respected last floor okay so in the same process the reinforcement value will be same on the respected c2 section also okay so for this from this respected output file we are easily concluded that the reinforcement values which is obtained for the ground floor section as well as first floor section will be different from start pro output file which is generated for the building structure okay again in the same process the values which is obtained for the last floor which is equal to the manual executed building results manual calculator results for the g plus 2 building structural model okay so from these results we can easily say that the reinforcement values whatever the reinforcement values that we are obtained as the maximum values if for the respected building structure of the g plus 2 we can use that respective reinforcement values for all the columns why because in due to the presence of the less amount of the loading distribution due to the presence of the less amount of the specifications of the structure the values of the reinforcement values will be decreases for this expected building the results is showing that maximum values of the reinforcement values are got at second floor which is equal to the reinforcement values which is comes under your manual calculations okay so we have to observe all the reinforcement values of the columns initially before concluding the reinforcement details and we have to take the maximum amount of the reinforcement values for the column one column then we have to proceed to the respective remaining columns for the building structure okay so this is the comparison of the building reinforcement details for the manual results as well as your stat pro results so if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you